Hey guys, let's talk about um, our work site when I return on the Eric McNeil Be Free Show. Black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Hey guys, welcome. You've just discovered the Eric McNeil Be Free Show, where it's all about being financially independent, responsible for self, enjoying life and empowering others. Um, so I'm out here today on Spintex Road in Accra, and I'm shopping for uh, a concrete mixer. If you saw some of uh, our earlier videos, you may have saw us, uh, our guys, mixing the concrete um, manually right and um, that's how we've been doing it up until now so um, we have decided uh, that it's time to get a concrete mixer um, so I'm out here looking at uh, concrete mixers so yeah so I'm at this this is about the third place I've been uh, but you can see behind me uh, this is the concrete mixer that uh, we're looking at Esquire I believe out of India, so this is the brand that we're looking at, and uh, so we just have to determine which size to get, um, and um, yeah, and so hopefully today or tomorrow we'll be able to get one. But I wanted to talk to you about um, just our our work environment in general. You know, when I start uh, thinking about this, you know. Occasionally, we'll get somebody who says something when they see, you know, the work environment and say, hey, you know, um, that needs to be improved or this needs to be improved. Um, and trust me, guys, we're from the West, so we know. Uh... Hey, guys, so I was actually interrupted by a phone call from uh, Brandon, so... We have uh, decided uh, which uh, concrete mixer we're going to go with. So I'm driving back down here to another place that we're going to buy it from that was a little less expensive. These things are things are going up every day. Like, you know, a couple weeks we called and uh, one of them, you know, was like 20000 Then you call back a couple weeks later, things like 25000 and so things are going up rapidly, rapidly. Um, so, and this is why I tell people, you know, go ahead and um, purchase your home uh, to protect yourself, you know, to hedge against this inflation. Guys, um, do it with the quickness. But I am headed back up here. We're gonna get this uh, one that, um, that they have for sale up here, a place called Babco on Spintex Road. But at any rate, um, as I was saying, is that a lot of times when people see our work site, uh, they, um, you know, might give comments about things that you wouldn't see in the U.S. and, uh, you know, you wouldn't see in the West. And I, I have to, trust me, I understand. Now, for the most part, um, some of the, the work procedures and the policies uh, if they are our people, we slowly try to introduce change, um, but we don't try and uh, just introduce the change overnight, but we do try and make sure that we introduce things so that, uh, you know, uh, that we are improving. We're improving. Um, but a lot of times, you know, especially when it's like contractors coming in, we don't try and dictate to them uh, how to operate their business. Like uh, I was showing the contractor that was um, <laughs> cutting and installing the granite countertops. And um, one of the subscribers, you know, made the comment about that they need to upgrade their, their workstation, you know, to a workstation because they saw the person cutting the granite countertop and they had like two sticks and they were cutting the granite. You know, that's a lot of things that 
wouldn't fly in the U.S. with that picture. You know, they wouldn't fl fly with them wearing sandals. Uh, they would probably have to wear some kind of mask. I don't think he had on mask and goggles. And, and it's a lot of things that wouldn't fly. But uh, you have to understand, we're not in the U.S. And um, what we do is that if the person has been doing this and it's their contract that they come, then we let the person work how um, what you know the standard that they're used to and um, at some point you know some things especially with our own employees we try and uh, slowly introduce change but we just don't uh, dictate to them because number one can you afford the price when they do that let's say um, the person we told the person well you have to have a work state with because we're not going to supply their work state you know that they're, they're there that they need to cut their granite and all of that. So if the person had a workstation, then how would that person um, get around with that workstation, right? Because the person, you know, doesn't have a vehicle, right? So um, usually what they do is they have, you know, a couple bags of tools and they get on a tro tro they catch that tro tro and sometimes they might catch a taxi or what have you. But uh, assuming the person had a workstation, they couldn't travel around with it. So they have methods that are suitable for them, right? So um, so method that they find suitable is, hey, we got to cut granite on site. We get two sticks, we put the granite on there, and we do the cutting. Then that way they don't have to carry some kind of mobile workstation around. Right, so just because that stuff may work uh, in the West, it doesn't mean that it's going to work here, right? So there's so many things here that are different, and we have to accept that. Um, and you know, and um, also in the West, we have to understand that a lot of the problem with the West is that um, they overemphasize all of these quote unquote safety issues, unions and stuff. Oh, you got to have this and you got to have that. And so now you create a situation where you run the price up um, because you have these uh, limitations that you said that, oh, a person has to have all of this. You know, you can't come on the work site without this proper mat, uh, without this. And now uh, your labor rates are too high and you're no longer competitive. And then you wonder why places like China and India are eating your lunch, right? Because you can't compete anymore. And um, so you have to be careful that you don't create that situation here. Um, you know, just because you say, okay, this person needs to have uh, these, you know, I don't know, steel toe boots to be on the job site. Uh, doesn't mean that, you know, they feel the same way, right? Um, so. So yeah, so you know, we have to be careful about when we're looking at uh, the work site. You know, we show you the work site, and then you try to uh, dictate what you believe uh, should be happening or how you believe it should be run, right? Because in the end, we're not in the West. We're not, you know, um, and things just don't operate how you know you might believe <laughs> they should operate. It's like, first of all, if uh, they start doing all this stuff, can you afford the product um, at the end of the day? You know, so um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you know, what we do is no different from uh, what's normal, you know, what's normal here. So that, that we're not doing anything out of the ordinary. Uh, if anything, yeah, sometimes we'll try and upgrade things and we'll try to make changes, but we won't do that overnight. That's not an overnight process. That's ongoing and we do it, uh, you know, as we get the monies and as we grow. Like you didn't see us like today and we're about to purchase this uh, concrete mixer, but that, that was a process. We didn't try to do that. You know, somebody could say, oh, you know, y'all need a, a concrete mixer. You shouldn't be doing that by hand. Well, you have to grow to that point. So, um, but at any rate, I'm back, actually back at the place that we're going to get the concrete mixer at, which is uh, Babco. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go in here and uh, finalize the deal, and uh, we'll try to get this to the job site. So, 
if you like what we're talking about, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, give me your thoughts, give me your feedback. Um, also, if you haven't already done so, hit our website, www.migratingcoachacrossing.com, and uh, be sure to check out our home plans. They're all out there, pricing, frequently asked questions, everything you need to know. Um, and you can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Eric McNeil is free. And as always, Ura Ahuru. Now be free. Guys, I'm just waiting for the delivery guy to come and th while they are servicing the machine and then he's going to deliver it up to our job site. So we are happy to be getting a cement mixer finally and we don't have to do this manually anymore. So um, we're making progress, you know. We will, at some point we will get uh, even a larger, more automatic one, but this will do us just fine. Thank you.